engage them. If I had, yeah, if I had to engage them, right. if I had to fight them, I believe I'd be the most capable if I believed I could win. Of course. So for that reason, if I have to self-delude, then I will self-delude and I will convince myself that I am here to destroy all 10 of them. And I will say it in a way where at least seven of them believe me. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important part sometimes mm -hmm. about all of this mm -hmm. self-delusion is that a lot of other people start to believe what you say. And I'm mm -hmm. not saying that I say bad things. If a man were to sit in, in front of you and say, I can rip your head off with my little finger, mm -hmm. and he said it in the right terms, and he truly believed it in his heart, you wouldn't want him to try. As, as ridiculous as that sounds, you'd be like, he's kind of big, maybe. You know, it crosses your mind. So I think that yeah, I have psychoanalyzed myself, even though I'm not officially, you know, certified. And I've decided that I can't stop bad things from happening to me. So instead, I'm going to enjoy bad things happening to me. And I'm going to build a mindset that makes me fearsome enough to succeed regardless of how stacked the odds are against me. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I appreciate your mindset. And it's well thought out. And it's useful to you. And so I'm not, I'm just pushing up against the places where I think there might be contradictions. I, li and I like to hear it. Yeah. I like to hear it. But like, right, like I said right now, I'm not a coward. And, and I want to make this very clear. I'm not a coward. I don't care if I don't sleep again for the rest of my life. I refuse to take any fucking pill. And I refuse to sit and have my mind altered by anything I do not control. I don't care if I have nightmares for the rest of human time. Right. As long as... I'm in charge of my mind. I'm in charge of my life. If God decides that I don't need nightmares anymore, I'll fathom out how to stop it. If God decides I need to wake up in the middle of the night in a sweat, fearful or afraid they're coming to get me, then that's God's plan for me. And that's what I'm going to deal with. I'm not a coward. I'm not afraid of any of these things. I'm not afraid of feeling bad. I'm not afraid of anxiety. I'm not afraid of panic. This is one of the things I think a lot of men out there struggle with is they're so worried and afraid of bad feelings. And, and to me, that's just showing that you've had an easy life. Like there's real people out here who are trying to kill you. There's people I ever put a knife in your neck. You're scared of what? Feeling sad? Who cares? Like th there's real problems. What are you worried about feeling sad for? Who gives a shit? I could feel sad for the rest of my life and I guarantee one, nobody would know. And two, I would be monumentally successful regardless. So, who, so why are we even talking about it? I have no fear for a negative feeling. I have fear for me not being able to provide for my children. I have fear for people who rely on me not being provided for and cared for, but I don't have a single I don't wake up and go, oh, I really, I'm worried if I might feel sad today. Who cares? Who cares? I can be happy or sad on the same day. Nobody notices and the same things get done. The exact same amount of work gets done. Nothing changes. How are you making sense of what's happening to you? Is it God's will? Is it uh, a co-creation? In some way, did you co-create this? Oh, no. Or I... are you a, just like a victim of, of the matrix? No, I'm not a victim. So... Absolutely everything is, I, I believe. In some way you're a victim. Uh, completely, but I believe in self-accountability. Sure. I could have prevented this. Well, how did you co-create this? If, if let's yeah. presuppose you did. I, I co-create, I created this by being monumentally successful. Right. There's no light without dark. Equal and opposite force. But you said you were excited about it. So maybe there's some way you actually wanted this. I didn't want this. In fact, I had conversations with Tristan for a long time and I kept saying Icarus to him. When I would, decline, uh -huh. I would decline certain podcasts, I would decline meeting certain famous people, I would decline talking about politics, I would decline things, and I would keep saying Icarus. And he would say, why are you doing this? And I'd just reply, Icarus. Because I knew if I got too big that they were gonna come for me. I knew that. So I tried to balance it, and I felt like I did a pretty good job, but unfortunately I got it a little bit wrong. My fault, I got it wrong, I put myself here. Mm -hmm. But I also don't believe that there's any light without dark. It's yin and yang for a reason. I don't think that I can just become the most Googled man on the planet and become monumentally successful and make hundreds of millions of dollars and nothing bad is going to come from it. I think that would be hubris. You just used the word hubris, a fantastic word. I think it would be stupid for me to sit there and go, I should be able to do all of this good and have a fantastic life and there's going to be no repercussion in any form. Mm -hmm. I knew this was coming to the point where I literally sat with Tristan about three weeks before it happened and said, we're fucked. 